Hey everybody, welcome to our channel, Living in Richmond, Virginia, where we show you exactly what it's like to live, work, eat, and play right here in RVA. In this video, I'm going to give you a tour of the Midlothian area, including a drive along the Midlothian Turnpike Bubble, as well as the Hull Street Bubble. I'll show you all the available shopping, dining, and entertainment in the area, as well as some of our absolute favorite neighborhoods in Midlothian. I've got maps, road footage, aerial video, and tons of information for you, so be sure to stay to the end so you don't miss any of it. If this is your first time to our channel, welcome. I'm Taylor Jefferson, and I own and operate Jefferson Grove Real Estate. We've helped countless families move to Richmond, and if you're thinking of doing the same, be sure to download our free Richmond Relocation Guide. The link is in the comments below and on our banner image on YouTube. And if you haven't done so, you have to subscribe to our channel, because every week we're going to be posting new videos all about living in Richmond, including more top neighborhoods, area tours, pros and con lists, and more. But enough of that, let's hit the road and check out the Midlothian area. So I'm going to start this video out along Midlothian Turnpike at Courthouse Road. There's a lot to talk about right here at this intersection, but I'm going to start just a little to the north near Robius Road. Over here there's a shopping center that has a grocery store and lots of awesome restaurants including one of our absolute favorites, Wood and Iron. Also nearby is ACAC's Midlothian location which has an awesome water park. Closer back to the Midlothian Turnpike area, there are a couple of other shopping centers with grocery stores including a Publix, a Fresh Market, and an Aldi. Notable restaurants include Taza Kitchen, Mellow Mushroom, and Kava. Lots of shopping in this area too, with a Best Buy, a Lowe's, a TJ Maxx, At Home, Dick's, and more. And lastly, there's of course the gigantic mall that I should mention, Chesterfield Town Center, which is the original shopping mall for this area of Midlothian. And directly across the street from that is a Target, Kohl's, and Bed Bath & Beyond. So like I said, there's a lot right here. Now, heading further west along Midlothian Turnpike, we come to our next spot pretty quickly. We first pass by a couple of car dealerships, but then we find ourselves at the intersection of Midlothian Turnpike and Walmart Way. To the left here is a brand new Wegmans and a couple other little shops, and then to the right is a huge Walmart and Sam's Club. The very next intersection also has some things worth mentioning too, and I actually used to work at both the CVS and the Walgreens on both sides of the street back in my pharmacy days. Uh, there's a food line shopping center, there's an awesome American Family Fitness, a new burger box, along with a few other medical offices right around here. Continuing our journey further west along Midlothian Turnpike, the next real notable area is around the intersections of Charter Colony, Winterfield Road, and Old Otterdale. You have a Publix grocery store, an Aldi, a Kroger, along with some fast food restaurants, sit-down restaurants, and a couple bars. If we continue to head west along Midlothian Turnpike, you'll eventually arrive at the 288 exit, north taking you towards Short Pump, and south taking you towards the Mosley area. But if you continue just past the 288 exits, you'll arrive at one of Midlothian's newer hotspots, Westchester Commons, which also has a Target, lots of restaurants, additional shopping, a movie theater, and a huge 24-hour Gold's Gym. Now this stretch of road that we just drove on is pretty reminiscent of West Broad Street and Short Pump, where all the action is. But this stretch of Midlothian's a little longer, and therefore it's not quite as dense as Short Pump. One last quick trip before I jump into the neighborhood tours for the area. Now we're going to head further south along Highway 288, to the next Midlothian bubble, which is Route 360, aka Hull Street. The Hull Street corridor expands both ways from the 288 exit, but the best shopping and dining is definitely going towards the Mosley area. Depending on which area Midlothian you live in will probably dictate which bubble is more convenient for you, Midlothian Turnpike or Hull Street. One of the downsides to living in Midlothian is that if you're right in the middle area around Highway 76, you have to make that decision north or south, and neither one's super convenient for you. So, at Hull Street and 288 to the east, there's a large Walmart, a Home Depot, and an Aldi. From there, heading southwest towards Mosley is a Target, a Kohl's, movie theater, TJ Maxx, an Old Navy, and a Fresh Market. Continue heading down that way, and there's a Kroger shopping center on your left, with a bunch of other little shops and restaurants. And that theme continues as you head towards the Mosley area, with lots more shopping centers anchored by a large chain grocery store, or a Walmart. Everything you could ever need is located here but the traffic can be frustrating because there's so many stoplights along Hull Street. All right, that sums up our tour highlighting the Midlothian bubbles. Now this next part should be really helpful to you, especially if you've never been to any of these neighborhoods. I'm going to drive through these neighborhoods to give you an idea for the curb appeal and style of the neighborhood, as well as get some drone footage to help you get an idea of the size of the yards. First up is one of my favorites, Tarrington. Tarrington is a riverfront community located just off the beautiful Robius Road corridor. You know you're somewhere special just driving through the entrance alone. This neighborhood has recently had some more development with some brand new sections, but you can't go wrong with the older resale in this area too. Houses range from 2,200 square feet up to over 6,000 square feet depending on the section. 
So expect to pay on average somewhere in the 600s, but it could be more or less depending on the year built and the size of the home, of course. The HOA provides a clubhouse, a pool, and a playground, and even a riverfront dock. Now, I can't mention Midlothian neighborhoods without mentioning what is quite possibly the best. I'm talking about Halsley. Now, Halsley is located right off of Old Hundred Road at Bright Walton. Probably the only downside to living here is the turn from Midlothian Turnpike onto Old Hundred can get backed up during rush hour because of the neighborhoods off of Old Hundred and, of course, Old Hundred Elementary School that's located right by the neighborhood. Halsley is a beautiful newer construction neighborhood chock full of amenities. It's routinely voted as the best neighborhood in America, but I think the people voting might be biased. Best neighborhood in America or not, it's definitely one of the best in Midlothian. Many of the homes here in Halsley were built by custom home builders, and there were lots of builders to pick from, so no two houses really look the same. I love the exterior elevations and the gorgeous designs of the homes mixed in perfectly with the backdrop of nature. The developers did a great job of keeping some green space here. The HOA provides for walking trails, a fishing pond, a clubhouse, pool, playgrounds, a dog park, and more. Expect to pay top dollar for homes here for all the reasons I just mentioned. This neighborhood was featured in our Most Expensive Neighborhoods video for good reason, but not every home here tops that million dollar mark. Sizes range from 2,500 up to 6,000 square feet, and the average being quite large at 4,500 square feet. More than likely, you'll pay somewhere in the 700s for a home in this neighborhood. Our next neighborhood tour is in Roundtree. Brown Tray is located south of Old Hundred Road, north of Genito, and on both the east and west side of North Woolridge Road. This is pretty much a more affordable Halsley, where everything is on a similar scale, just a level down. The HOA provides a clubhouse and a pool, a fitness center, and in the future there will even be a dog park. Also, with the neighborhood being located along the Swift Creek Reservoir, you can enjoy fishing and kayaking. More development is scheduled to come, with future sections in Brown Train being opened up along the North Woolridge Road area. Homes are sized from 2,100 square feet up to 4,500, and the average price is right around the mid-500s. Something worth mentioning here, though, is that it gets very buggy, especially during the summer. So if you choose to live here, you will want to hire a mosquito treatment company for your yard. Obviously, there are a ton more neighborhoods within Midlothian, and we'll absolutely be doing more neighborhood and area tours just like this video in the future. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button, and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you're thinking about moving to the Richmond area, be sure to reach out to us. We can make your move stress-free and easy. And again, definitely download our free Richmond Relocation Guide. It's a constant work in progress based off the feedback and questions we receive from people like you after they download it. So if after you download it you have any questions, just let me know and I'll absolutely get back to you. And if there's something you were hoping it would have but didn't, be sure to tell me. I appreciate you being here with me today, and I'll see you next time.